Well, hey there, rock stars. Sarah Rack and Robbins here, coming to you live for another prospecting tip of the day. So glad to be with you guys today. As we get started, let's go ahead and get acquainted. If you don't mind saying hello in the comments below, tell me a little bit about who you are, where you're tuning in from, and of course, if it is your first time watching, click number one in the comments because I would love to warmly welcome you. And don't forget, the more on your team who know, the greater your business will grow. So be sure to click the share button. You can share this live video to your team groups or pages to have a virtual viewing party. Send it to the inbox of a friend or tag them below. And remember, if you share, you get a chance for a shout out as well. I wanna thank you guys for being here today. As you say hi, I'd love to introduce myself to all of our newbies here and wait for some people to populate in. So who am I? I am Sarah Robbins. I'm a former teacher turned network marketing top leader. I personally sponsored over 300 in my business to build a sales team of over 300,000 distributors. We serve millions of customers and in fact our team did over a billion dollars in sales just for a year, which is super powerful. I went on to share all of my tips in my best-selling book, Rock Your Network Marketing Business. Who's got it? Shout it out. You can get it on Kindle, hard copy, as welcome gifts for your team members, or now on audiobook, read in my voice. And when you purchase your copy of choice, just email rocktheaudio at gmail.com and I will send you three free gifts. I also have some great resources on my site at sarahrobbins.com. That's how you spell it here, Sarah with an H, Robbins with two Bs.com. Um, I've got my audio series, which is my entire system for network marketing success, and my new one for leaders, the masterclass. Um, you guys will notice too that on that site as we're waiting for people to populate in, I've got some great um, classes too, um, hours worth of training. I've got one great that's um, on, it's called Rock Your Recruiting. It's a two hour masterclass on how I recruited over 300 people into my company, ideas, language, so much more. You wanna know how we did a billion dollars in sales? I have one that's specifically just on selling how to get and keep customers called Supersize Your Sales. And if you wanna know how I did the majority of it online, I have a training specifically on social media um, that's called Social Media That Sells, all of which you can find on my site. But who's registered for October 18th? That's the big one that's coming up. It's called Power Presenting. Um, it is going to be live, but if you can't make it live, still register, because there's going to be a great replay on demand. Um, and we're gonna be talking about presenting, not in the aspect of um, Toastmasters class and how to talk and present yourself um, perfectly. We're gonna talk about how to present yourself powerfully, your story, your company story. We're gonna talk about live events. We're gonna talk about virtual events. We're gonna be talking about the three-way call, which we talked about yesterday, how one of my team members was able to build a six-figure income in an hour a day her first year simply with three-way calls. So powerful. If you didn't watch yesterday's training, make sure you do. But we're gonna be talking about that too. It is going to totally, totally rock. So who's going? I hope you guys are gonna be there. It's going to be an incredible time together. If you're serious about your business, do it, right? Um, I always tell people when people are like, I can't afford to, I'm like, you can't afford not to. What is your why worth, right? We've got to invest in our success. All right, so today I'm going to be sharing a very short um, talk with you. This is a real simple um, and short, yet I believe will be one of the most valuable tips that you get on presenting today. Here's the thing. You know, sometimes we overcomplicate this business so much, so much so that at the end of this, you're going to be like, that's it. Like, that's all you got. Like, that's so simple. Here's the thing. You want to know why our team has grown big and why it's grown really, really fast. It's because we keep things simple. I'll never forget my mentors back in the day saying, keep it so simple that a five-year-old can do it. Because otherwise, you know, if you have to be perfect to do it, your team's not going to go anywhere. There's very few people that are perfect. Oh, wait, mm, there's none. Oh, yeah, that's right, right? We all have different talents. We all have different skill sets. So you want to keep this business so simple for people that they feel empowered and really at the end of the day right it's all about activity okay so perfectionism equals procrastination write that down Procrast per perfectionism equals procrastination if you're like I have to be like Sarah Robbins to do this business keep in mind I've been doing this for 11 years I've been talking a lot I know my stuff um, I love what Biz Stone says, co-founder of Twitter, timing, perseverance, and 10 years of trying eventually makes you look like an overnight success. People are like, Sarah, what is your secret? I'm like, man, I failed forward for about 11 years, and I'm starting to finally figure some things out. And once I do, then I'm like, wait a minute, Facebook Live, all this new stuff? Like, what's going on? You got to be a student of the profession, guys. Okay, so today's tip is simple, 
It's short, but it's super, super valuable. And it's called this, take note, take note. So when we make things so difficult for our team members, what do they do? They freeze because of fear, right? They'll say, when we say, okay, well, you know, you should do a, a business presentation or a business launch to, to, to kick your business off strong. Because of overwhelm, they're like, you know what, I'm not gonna do it at all. Or if they do plan it, then the day it gets here, they're like, just kidding, I'm going to, you know, just totally back out of this and just tell all of my friends and family members that I was just kidding, right? It's because they don't feel empowered. And by the way, I hope you're not asking people like permission, like, would you like to schedule a business launch event? No, it's not will you like. When they joined you, they joined you because they said they wanted to be successful. So I don't ask people, do you want to? I'll say the next step is scheduling your business launch. We're not a party plan company, but I believe you need to get the word out to your friends and family. Plus imagine the success you can have in an hour's worth of time and talk to 10, 20, 30 people all at once. But again, they don't wanna do it because they're overwhelmed. So I'll say, pick a date, let's get invitations out. We're gonna worry about all the details later, okay? Now here's the thing, this is my philosophy with presenting. I tell people, I'll do the first, we'll do the second one, so maybe I'll cover business, they cover product, you do the third. I do, we do, you do. Then they're empowered, right, to lead. Okay, so here's a tip that I think makes virtual events easier and live events so much easier. Take note. First and foremost, when I do virtual presentations, when I do live events, you may never know that I always have notes on the back of my products. I literally take a magic marker. If you don't wanna do this, you take a sticky note and you put it on the back of your product. I've been doing this 11 years. I'm not an ingredients girl. I don't even talk about ingredients anyways, by the way. I just talk about, I tell stories like, hey, this is this and this is what it did for my cousin so-and-so and this is what it did for my skin. Now, if I have live stories in the room, I have people share. Facts tell, stories sell. As network marketing um, professionals, we are paid storytellers. But when I'm holding it up, and I've got to cover the product name, by the way, because um, you're not all in my company and want to respect that, but also for compliance reasons for me. Um, so I wouldn't hold it up like this if I was doing an event, clearly. I'm just doing this out of respect for all of you right now as I'm training you. Um, when I hold this up, and when I'm talking to you, I'd really be holding it down here, like, you know, graciously and daintily. But when I'm holding it up, and I'm doing a virtual event, let's say, I'm reading the notes, and I'm looking, and I'm making kind eye contact from time to time. I could even hold it down here, too, next to where the camera is. And I've got bullet pointed um, just some of the features and benefits, specifically some of the places it's been featured. And just... Some of the things that causes it to stand out is I'm reading all of these things. You don't even know that I've got notes to support me, to make me feel empowered, but also to make sure I hit all of the high points and to keep me on track. So my first tip is take notes, literally take notes on the bottle, take notes on the things that you're holding up, put it on a sticky, write it in magic marker to keep yourself on track. See, simple, short, yet so, so powerful, right guys? So here's the cool thing. I'm sharing, whether it's a live event or a virtual, I've got a few bullet points of things that I wanna say, places it's been featured, whatever the case may be, and then I'm asking for validating stories, like on a virtual. Hey, who's tried this? Go ahead and comment below what your results are, and it creates social proof, right? Yesterday we talked about third-party validation. Um, and if I'm at a live event, who's got customers who's used this? Who's used this personally? What results are you guys getting? And again, it provides third-party validation and social proof. So again, keep it so simple that a kindergartner, kindergarten teacher can do it, okay? Keep it simple, seems to have worked for me, okay? You may be like, this is the dumbest tip ever, but guess what? Did your team do a billion dollars in sales? If not, take note, take note. Okay, I'm just being funny with you guys. All right, the second thing is, guys, Note cards, take note. Guys, if you don't think that you can't walk up and just have a note card or two, like, come on, guys. Do you know you actually empower more people when they sit in the audience and they say, man, she's not perfect. She doesn't have it all together. I can do what she does. But if you're going and spouting off all of this scientific information and all of these clinical studies and this, that, and the other, you're gonna have a gal like me sitting in the audience saying, I don't even wanna ask her about what she does because this is not even of interest. It's not of value. And quite frankly, it's super overwhelming. That's why I believe in telling a lot of stories. Facts tell, stories sell. I keep all of the facts for when people ask me questions like, what are the ingredients? You know what I'll say to you? You can ask me this about my product. I'll say, let's pull up the website. I don't have all the ingredients memorized. 
let's pull up the website. And that's it. Does it have this ingredient? I don't know. Are you allergic? Like, let's go ahead and let's pull it up. Everything's on our website. That's what I love about the support that the company provides, right? Leveraging the tools that you have in place. But here's the thing with the note cards, guys. This is why I like to have stories. And if you don't have stories in the room, have some video clips that you can showcase of product stories or business stories or whatever. So what I'll do is I'll kind of segment it in presentation. It, my presentation, I'll open up, I'll welcome, I'll share my why. And then I'll transition a little bit into the business and, and more about our company. And then I'll have some people come up and tell stories or I'll play some videos, right? And then at that point, I can go and sit down. I can look at my note card and see what's next. That's going to empower me for the next step of the presentation. I could sit it down on my stool and go up without my notes and know, okay, you know what? Next, I'm going to talk about products. I'm going to tell my personal product story. Then I'm going to do an overview of all the products. And now I'm going to have some people come up and tell their product story, right? And then I'm going to sit back down on my chair. I'm going to quickly look at my note card and say, okay, next up, we're going to conquer the clothes. Now I'm going to train more about that on the specifics of how to do an actual presentation and how to close, guys. The biggest mistake I see people make, the biggest mistake is they don't know how to close events. You know what happens? It's so awkward at the end. Everybody's like, they came to support you, so they want to order something. Some people even want to join your team, but they're too scared to tell you. And you guys are too scared to ask. And you have not if you ask not. So you got to get your ask in gear. Ask, I said with a K, okay? Um, so you have the opportunity to really close out these events powerfully and increase your conversion rate. We're going to talk more about that on October 18th. Isn't this simple, guys? It's simple. It's short. But it's super, super powerful. I believe one of your most valuable tips I'm presenting is to keep it simple so your team will replicate. And so you don't get so stuck in per, 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 um, perfectionism that you end up in a place where you're procrastinating, doing the things that you know are going to actually build your business. Leaders, you need to teach this to your team. Don't make them feel they have to be perfect or your team is never going to grow. And you might be like, she's wrong. But again, do you have proof of that in your business? What are your numbers? Are you seeing growth? Okay. All right. So with that, I want to hear your takeaways. What did you learn? Make sure you guys share this on your team pages or with a friend. And then, of course, I want to invite you personally on October 18th to Power Presenting. You can go to my website at sarahrobbins.com and sign up. We're going to be teaching about how to package your personal story, how to package your company story, how to share it over casual settings like coffees and events. How to do it in more professional settings like meetings, you know, and different things that you might do with your team. Virtual events, guys, are huge. I can't speak of them more enough. And here's the big thing, guys, how to do three-way calls. If you're not doing them, I'm telling you what, you will never see the duplication that you are expecting, that you are hoping for, guys. It is something you must learn if you want to be a network marketing professional. And that really is my hope and my desire for all of you. So who am I going to see there? I hope to see you there, if not sooner, like tomorrow, guys, for another free prospecting tip of the day here on Facebook. All right, guys, go ahead and share your takeaways. I want to just share with you my thanks. Thanks for letting me share with you guys today. I hope you got some great value. Take note. Keep it simple. Have a great day, guys. God bless and goodbye for now and rock on rock stars. Love you guys.